Kiran Gems, a major diamond firm, has declared a 10-day vacation from August 18 to 27 for its 50,000 employees, shutting down operations completely. Dinesh Lakhani, the global director of Kiran Gems, tells us at CNBC TV 18 that the company is not relieving any of its employees, even as the markets are weak due to global factors. Kiran Gem, which claims to be the world's largest natural diamond manufacturer, employs 50,000 diamond polishers, out of which 40,000 cut polished naturals, while 10,000 work in the lab-grown diamond unit. Well, the company, with the annual turnover of 17,000 crore, is also among the largest exporters of polished diamonds. Lakhani expressed hope that other diamond companies might follow suit after similar production control measures, potentially leading to a collective industry response to the current market conditions, which is weak diamond industry and higher inventories. The step, he says, will cut production and narrow the gap between demand and supply. This step will balance the market and keep the jobs of the diamond workers intact. India industry, he says, is conveying to the global markets that there is going to be no excess production of diamonds. India, remember, polishes nine out of all ten global diamonds. Diamonds as an industry has had slowdown in diamonds and price decline in the past year, leading to many small diamond units in Surat that lack holding capacity facing shutdowns since the month of March in this year. Some diamond units have been declaring three days holidays, while some have reduced hours of working. Markets opine that this indicates weak demand and the industry is trying to cut losses and inventory. There actually was a report from De Beers suggesting that a 15% decline in rough diamond production has happened in the second quarter of 2024, which is compared to the first quarter previous year. This further underlines the industry's challenges. Well, India's demand for small diamonds in the last two years in the meanwhile has grown from 8 to 10 percent to 20 percent market share this year. The current Chinese market share of 30 to 35 percent is exactly what India is eyeing in the next three to four years as per the current growth numbers. Well, the diamond prices for 2024 are trading in the negative. Small diamond prices are down 5 to 7 percent, but it really is the large stones or the certified diamonds that have recorded a 15 to 20 percent of price decline. Within the global markets, U.S. continues to be the big market with demand strongest ahead of Christmas and New Year's. The Indian markets in the meanwhile will see demand come in from festivals and the wedding season that starts from the month of September and basically continues till the end of year. This could lead to demand gaining by 10 to 15 percent in this year as compared to last year. That is because the gold prices have declined and you also have seen diamond prices cut quite strongly in this year.